guys, what's up? It's Joe Ready from Ready's Rise. We're back here in the original filming spot location, right in my backyard, because guess what? We have the original when it comes to premium luxury high-end vehicles. This is it. It's a 2022 Rolls-Royce Cullinan. But before we get into this maxed out luxury, maxed out sophistication, maxed out SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. Rolls-Royce, they've been around since the early 1900s. The first vehicle they ever made was called the Royce 10, because guess what? It had 10 horsepower, if you could believe that, out of a twin cylinder engine, but Rolls-Royce was all started by Charles Rolls and Sir Henry Royce, hence the name Rolls-Royce. Now, over the decades, they've always been tied to that high level of British luxury and class and, like I said, sophistication. But what I want to find out is this Cullinan, which first appeared in 2019, has some twin turbocharged V12 power. Makes it kind of quick, zero to 60. What I want to do is I want to compare it to an American luxury brand. So it's England versus the United States, just like in the American Revolution. We all know how that turned out. But what I want to do is, is I want to compare this Rolls-Royce Cullinan to the Cadillac Escalade V and find out what really is the top luxury, but also performance maxed out full-size SUV. Let's dive into our bright tangerine orange example of a Cullinan and find out. Right off the bat, even though the design's been around since 2019, still looking fresh in the model year 2022. Up front, you're gonna notice that very unique headlight style to the Rolls Royce. So they wanted to definitely take the style of the brand that you see on the Silver Spur, you see on the Ghost, and bring it to the Cullinan. So you have these large rectangular headlight shape designs, full LED daytime running lamps, headlights, and turn signals. Absolutely love the way that flashes and then disappears very unique. Work your way down, we have functionality, flat black vents to help bring air for all the heat exchangers. Working our way down, slow and steady. You'll notice how they designed each of the different elements of the vents. More functionality, a large horizontal piece of gloss black, but definitely the orange with the black. I'm ready to go trick-or-treating and this thing definitely brings a bunch of treats. Now, on the bottom portion, there's just a little bit of flat black, but everything else is painted that bright, beautiful color. You do have functional corner air curtains as well, so a lot of functionality just on this one portion. Now, as we come across that iconic grill, nobody's gonna confuse this with any other brand out there. There's the Rolls Royce, the double R, looking good. You got your forward-facing camera. They hid right in between these vertical gloss black slots and then as we come down of course we're going to have some chrome because of the type of luxurious brand this is and then on the bottom portion more functionality including brake cooling ducts and more cooling in the center and a gloss black strip along the bottom but definitely large and in charge now when we get up onto the hood there she is the spirit of ecstasy what's awesome about this hood ornament is that she will lower when you lock the door so nobody's gonna mess with her and try to take a little bit of spirit of ecstasy with them. But locking the door, she raises, she lowers, super clean. Love the large hood. And you're gonna need a large hood because of that V12, twin turbocharged V12. We got the dark clouds. We actually built up this dramatic scene here with the dark clouds. You might see some lightning. You're probably gonna hear some thunder because this thing brings the thunder. As we come around the bend, what are we working with? You have these gloss black and black chrome finish wheels. Absolutely mind-blowing. I look at these wheels and I'm just like, God, they're gorgeous. 22 inches in diameter. You got your self-centering center caps. So those are always going to have the double R Rolls-Royce nicely placed. Continental tires. And look at these massive six-piston calipers. Rotors are over 15 inches all four corners and you got all-wheel drive in this maximum size SUV. A air suspension, adaptive air suspension. I'm gonna have Steven kind of zoom in and show that upper control arm. You can see the airbag and some of the other suspension bits. 
Coming down the side of the vehicle, I love the way they do the stepped hood. Very Rolls Royce in its design. Massive fender, no fake vents, no vents whatsoever, just beautiful sheet metal. You got the Rolls Royce badge with your side marker light, LED. And then of course, we're gonna get color mesh on the mirror caps. You got your 360 degree cameras. And then we have gloss black along the top and the bottom of the window frames and some chrome to kind of blend everything in. Now, the one thing I'm gonna zonk is why do they put this keyhole here? That to me, design wise, is not a very good design element, but you'll notice as we got the thunder, as we got the light, the lightning, we do have the classic suicide door, which I'll show you how that opens in a second once Steven drops back along the bottom. Of course, we're gonna have a little bit of gloss black, but what I love about this Cullinan is that suicide door, how it opens. And with the rain coming, you do have your Rolls Royce umbrella to get ready for when the sky opens up. We'll show you more of that when we get to the back seat, but that's how the suicide doors open. If they wonder why they come suicide doors, it's basically suicide to open this up on a busy city street and just swing the door open. But we're gonna close that door, nice soft close, seals it down. We keep working this way. Remember, like I said, we have all wheel drive, power going to all four corners. Tires out back are 285 on the width, 40 series sidewall, and I'm glad we got the dark chrome finish on the wheels massive rear quarter window. I mean, look at, look at the side glass. It's just unbelievable. It's almost like a skyscraper glass that they took off a building in downtown Tampa. And then when we get to the tail end of the business, super duper clean, no wiper. It's all tucked in. You got your nice long low roof spoiler. I love the way they take the sheet metal and bring it out just so cleanly. They even brought it out around the badge. So the way that they designed this was actually to showcase that Rolls Royce badge. A little bit of chrome. And then as we go down to ground level, you are gonna get functional exhaust, dual tip exhaust on both sides, decorative trim ring. I wish they would have done this a little bit more fancier or something like actually have the dual exhaust come out the opening. I think that would have been a nicer touch, but everything else is super clean on the roof. The way they do the welds is to not only make the structure strong, but also to cut down, of course, on flexing squeaks and rattles. But while we go ahead, let's pop that massive hood and take a gander of the power and compare it to the Escalade V. All right, guys, we got the massive hood open underneath the hood in the belly of this beast. You'll notice, first of all, one of the beefiest strut tower braces I've ever seen, especially the way it ties in the front of the vehicle and then a very attractive Rolls-Royce engine cover. What do we got there? We got that 6.7 liter V12 twin turbocharged engine. It's 563 horsepower, 627 pound-feet of torque. It is mated to a ZF eight-speed automatic transmission, zero to 60 with the all-wheel drive, about 4.4 seconds. Quarter mile is gonna go by at 12.8 seconds at 112 miles per hour and top speed is governed to 151 miles per hour. The vehicle weighs 6,086 pounds, and I hope you have a very good gas card because MPGs, 12 in the city, 20 on the highway, obviously four more cylinders than an Escalade V. The Escalade V, remember, has that supercharged 6.2 liter V8 that pumps out 689 horsepower this one's got four extra cylinders and twin turbos, but why don't we fire it up? Because I think it's gonna surprise you that you're not gonna hear much sound, even though we have a V12, but let's go ahead and fire it up and hear this bright tangerine orange Rolls Royce. guys we're inside this 2022 Rolls-Royce Cullinan and I have one question for you pardon me but do you have any great Poupon but in all seriousness this thing is on another level now I know you might be saying to yourself well Joe my kids have graduated from college I'm cashing in my 401k 
Hell, I'm even going to go search for aluminum cans and recycle them for some extra dough. How much is this? So obviously, depending on how you option it is going to be the end all for MSRP. This particular one, you're looking between $420 to $440,000. It does make an Escalade V seem like a real bargain. But while we go ahead, let's see how it stands out and go for that ultimate luxury to the door panels. You're going to get high end leather and real wood finish all over the door. I love the Rolls Royce badge nicely placed there in the leather. Little bit of shiny chrome finish, little bit of gloss black, but the speaker grill covers are tasteful. Within that open pour wood, you're going to have your massage seats and your two memory seat settings. Plus, I love the way they brought the orange into the interior. Easily get four French baguettes, full-size baguettes in that door pocket that you flew straight from Paris, FedExed it over to you, and I like the bright orange stitching. Going from the door panel to the dash, same thing. This has all been hand-stitched, the leather, the two-tone material, of course, being a high-end luxury vehicle, we got the analog clock with the color and name. Love the flat black with the leather, and then we get to the center stack. Now, obviously, being part of the BMW brand of vehicles that are owned by BMW, you are getting that same operating software. So same infotainment with a touchscreen. You'll notice on these piano chrome switches, it's actually operated all by the slightest of touch. And is it a touchscreen? Of course. Now what's great is, is you go into my, excuse me, you go into my vehicle, and what happens is you pull up Spirit of Ecstasy. This is where you could raise and lower the Spirit of Ecstasy right from the screen. Or you could keep it automatic when you shut off the vehicle. Let me go ahead and throw it in reverse. Resolution, super clear as you would expect. 360 degree cameras. And then you could go angle to angle to angle. Really nicely done. Love the quality. It would have been cooler if it was orange though to really make it all match up. Now working our way down. This is your radio knob. You have these aeronautical AC vents. And what I love is this push-pull system of opening and closing the vents. You'll notice that the door lock, this is to unlock and lock the door. So very important. If you're going to pick up your date, this is where you unlock it to let them in. Now, if you're a real gentleman, you'll get out and open up the door for them, or you'll have your butler or your chauffeur do it for them. But that's where that button is located. You have different choices for your fan speed, obviously dual climate, max, high, medium, and instead of low, it's called soft. Maybe they should have called it whisper because it is whisper quiet in here. We got three stages of heated seats, three stages of ventilated seats, and of course, you got your heated steering wheel in the center, and then across the bottom, your toggle switches and your dual climate controls. Very unique to the way they work. Now, I got more open pour wood. Slide that open very effortlessly two cup holders, close it back. There she is, the spirit of ecstasy. This is that BMW direct drive control knob. Works just like your standard BMW. So if you don't want to touch the screen, you could use it here. You got your off-road mode, hill descent control, and you could raise and lower your vehicle right from behind the wheel because of that air suspension. More open pour wood. Slide this open. This is an interesting compartment. We got felt lining. This is where you're going to keep all your gold rings, maybe your graduate ring from grad school when you got your PhD, maybe you put your undergrad, maybe even put your girlfriend's class ring that she gave you that you never gave back to her even though you were supposed to. You could keep that in there and it's not gonna scratch, which is really great. What else is great is the softness of the leather. I definitely wanna thank all the British cows that sacrificed their lives for this leather. Really, really nice and soft. Open it up, nice soft open. You got your cell phone holder and wireless charger, just like you would put your platinum card or your black card into your wallet, slide it in there. And then there's enough felt lining in here for the Hope Diamond that you're not gonna scratch. 12 volt and USBs in there. Soft close seats. There's more of that great leather, the hand stitch embroidery, the piping, the colors all the way down, super comfortable. Electric controls on the passenger side, obviously electric assist on the driver's side. I got plenty of room in here. And what's great is it's hard to see, but this does have the LED lighting for the starry night. So what you could do is, is 
if you want to make out with your special someone, instead of doing it out in the grass and looking at the stars, you could jump into the back seat and you got the stars. But there's two special things I want to show you. I'm going to have Steven back away. Watch the magic. I could actually close the passenger door right from the driver's seat and then I could also make that spirit of ecstasy actually change up. So watch this. We're going to go spirit of ecstasy, lower, disappears, raise, and she's back again. But why don't you come over to the business end? I want to show you behind the wheel of this Rolls Royce. Come on over. Right, guys, business time behind the wheel. Obviously, we got massage seatings over here for the seat with your settings. We got that shiny, bright chrome silt plate, and then a pedal box where the dead pedal is actually molded after Shaquille O'Neal's left foot. Massive in size. The only thing that's weird is you don't have an aluminum brake pedal, so I'm gonna have to zonk that, but you do have an aluminum uh, throttle pedal, which is great. There's your seat controls, easy to get to. I'm glad they don't put them on the door. It would clutter up the door. I got plenty of room in here. I mean, like I said, I could put on my Burger King crown and be king of the castle because this thing really is phenomenal. Steering wheel, love the leather, love the nice light feel. This has rear wheel steering, so it really allows you to turn nicely. That Rolls Royce badge, a little gloss black heavy, but nothing too crazy. Another unique touch is where the start stop button is. It's on the left hand side of the steering wheel along with your uh, light controls. Of course, we have an electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel, and then the dash screams Rolls Royce. You got that large speedometer in the center, your fuel gauge, which you want to keep an eye on that, and everything else. Plus, you got a head-up display, and you got the smallest of actual shifters on the steering column. But why don't we go ahead? This thing's got four doors. It actually has suicide rear doors. Let's get into the back seat and see what the lap of luxury is all about back there in our Rolls Royce. All right, Royce. guys, come on in to the open suicide doors. Not many vehicles in history have had suicide doors, but uh, definitely adds that little extra flavor to this Cullinan. Now, sitting back here, tons of room. Like I said, the starry night scene up top. What I really love is, first of all, the AC controls. You got AC vents in the frame rail with that same pull push style of operating the venting. And then you'll notice that we have massive screens. And what's crazy is you don't use your hands to pull out the screen. Watch this. You actually hit the button. And now you can get into the infotainment. You got a time. You can do all your other business, navigation, the whole nine yards. Hit the button, and it's right back where it started. We're going to pull this open. You can see just how wide that opens. You could easily put, I would say, two New York style everything bagels with cream cheese and all, and then the center stack. Same thing like on the other AC vents. I love this push pull, very high quality, that flat black finish. We got our same AC controls. Now the bummer is we got three stages of heated seats, but no ventilated seats. That to me is ridiculous. So that is a major zonk, but we do have a 12 volt. You just got to pull this plug out. Hopefully your kids don't lose it. You got your aux jack for headsets and everything else. And then here's all your HDMI hookups, nicely hidden by a chrome little cover. We got AC vents on the floor, even the freaking rails. We better show them, Steven. The, the rails for the seats are chrome, not just your regular metal. They're actually shiny chrome, hand polished over in England and then inserted into this Rolls Royce. What about armrests? Let's check it out. More chrome, nice soft leather. You got your two cup holders for your espressos. Lift this up. Felt lying. This is where you can, remember that girlfriend I was telling you about you had in high school? This is where you could keep that picture of her. Remember how you promised her? You said, I'll never get rid of your photo. And you put in that weird frame that she made you. You could keep it back here and it's not going to get scratched. And you could keep your promise. Because promises are promises and you got to keep them. Flip this up. Look at these seats. The orange, just like up front, the piping, super soft on these Rolls Royce headrests, like a pillow. And then what's even better is, is that you could actually raise and lower, up for the door, you could actually raise and lower the headrests. But let me show you what the other button does. 
we're going to go on throttle, but Steven's in the way, so I'm going to tell him to just get out of here. Back up. Thanks, Steven, for everything. I'm going to roll out of here. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go on throttle in our Rolls Royce Cullinan. Hi, right, guys. Champagne wishes and caviar dreams. Speaking of caviar, if you're going to go pick up the mother load, let's see if we have enough room in the back of this Rolls Royce. So you're going to hit the button. Nice electric assist. And what I like about it is it's got that little loading floor so you can leave it up and then those cans of caviar aren't going to roll anywhere if you're parked on a hill. But then you just go ahead, you hit that. Nice dropping, nice little landing pad. You'll notice the high quality carpet, of course, in this Rolls Royce. Surprisingly, quite a bit of room. You got a large nook here for those gold flake. Yes, the edible gold flake Twinkies, a whole box. Plus on the passenger side, what do we got? We got another nook for another box of Twinkies. And then you got a 12 volt. I'm surprised there's not more connectivity back here for when you're doing your tailgating at your next orchestra event. But you know what? This is one heck of a symphony with as much of the space that we have. But I know what you want to do. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering what about this security shade, it actually opens up like that. And it's got Alcantara on it. So does your Cadillac Escalade V have an Alcantara wrapped security shade soft as a pussycat put it down put it back look for the button voila you can have your butler do it you can have your uh, waiter do it your chauffeur push that I think it's about that time if you're ready I'm ready let's go on throttle in our v12 Rolls Royce all right guys we're behind the wheel of this Rolls Royce Cullinan right away it is whisper quiet in here. You don't hear the V12. You don't hear the outside noises. This is the most serene experience I've ever been in on the interior of any vehicle. Looking out over that long hood, you see her, the spirit of ecstasy guiding your way. And this is really what Rolls Royce is all about is this level of perfection four-wheel perfection that they bring and they do it in such a way that nobody could touch them not even Cadillac BMW or Mercedes-Benz combined you got a head-up display which is really nice to help you as you're navigating and then of course you're gonna get a lot of attention in this tangerine orange for sure those massive brakes 15 inches all the way around, actually a little bit larger than 15 inches all the way around. We're gonna go on throttle with this all-wheel drive. Obviously it's rear-wheel drive biased, but here we go. On throttle. Nice, it's crazy. Smooth shifts from that eight-speed automatic. And of course with the air ride suspension, when you get on it, it just dips down in the back a little squats and you are off and running now everywhere you touch just like i showed you earlier is top level supreme quality and then steering this vehicle much easier than the escalade v especially with the way the steering is set up in here nice and light and of course you do the different settings and that could be adjusted to whatever way you like to have it. I mean, and that's how it should be in this vehicle. Seats are nice and supportive. No side bolstering, but that's not what this vehicle is about whatsoever. And lots of headroom. But it just goes to show that Rolls-Royce, this brand, like I said, that goes back all the way to the early 1900s, just they do things so differently in a very good way. And they've always been known to have those super large engines for such a long part of their history. In the year, in the early years, it was small, but then, you know, you're looking at 16 cylinder engines. The Rolls Royce made airplane engines. I mean, it's stuff like that that just makes the brand so much more special. And this is not about driving a car or an SUV in this case, it's about being part of what that brand 
represents. But I tell you, it's it just kind of spoils you for any other luxury car experience, to be honest with you. This thing, I would argue, is almost as quiet as an EV, even though you got a twin turbo V12 underneath the hood. And you could accelerate zero to 60 in about 4.4 seconds. Obviously the Escalade V will nip it just a tad, but just really, really mind blowing. We're gonna get it out onto the highway so that we can coast down the road. I could at least show you how it coasts down the road. But it's funny because it doesn't feel squishy. Like it's not all soft and you're just kind of like floating all over the place. Like it feels very confidence inspiring, but you just know there's that elevated sense of just comfort. And it's all done from the exterior with the way they weld the body to the way they do all the interior pieces. And then of course that ultimate all wheel drive grip. But going down the highway here, I mean, you look down the speedometer or look up at the head up display, it does not feel that you're going as quickly as you are behind the wheel of this vehicle. Just because of the great thickness of the windows, the acoustics going on in here, and the sound ending material, it's just so wonderful, so smooth so supple i mean the adjectives are absolutely endless that you could bring to this vehicle and then to go on throttle on throttle here we go drops down and we're off and you're gonna get up to triple digit speeds very very quickly very quickly even for the size of vehicle that this thing is it's quite phenomenal and I just love how minimalistic the door panels are, the way that you have those extra touches where you could raise and lower the spirit of ecstasy, you could close the doors all by the press of a button. And then of course, how the vehicle handles, very controlled. Look at this, all the way around, easy peasy. Oh, it's throttle, here we go. It just blows your mind. There's like no way to really fully understand how this vehicle is able to do what it does, even with the way that the vehicle is sized the way that it is. And then you got plenty of room for your backseat passengers. You can get a massage. I mean, this really is that top level of luxury at its finest point. But I hope this has been a nice overall review for you about what it means to be part of the Rolls Royce brand. I'm going to wrap this one up and get back to where it all started. So I'll see you in a split second in this Rolls Royce. Guys, it's been one of those lap of luxury kind of days, living a little of the lifestyles of the rich and famous. I definitely want to thank everybody at Rolls Royce for allowing us access to this press fleet vehicle. Let me know what you think. Is the Rolls-Royce brand, especially the Cullinan, the automatic go-to if you have ultimate funds and you want the ultimate in luxury and or performance, or would you prefer to spend quite a bit less and go the Cadillac Escalade V route? Put your comment down in that section. But until we meet another day in another rainstorm, if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. We got to give it up to Steven. He's basically holding a metal pole out here with that camera and the lightning. But you know what? Nothing will stop him because he's wearing his double sole rubber shoes. That's actually going to help protect him and insulate him from the lightning bolts. But thank you, Steven, for your great camera work. Check him out on Instagram, Stephen Fluff Photography. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.